Hi, I'm Louise Scammell, I'm a printmaker and today I'm going to show you how to make a dry point printing plate. Inside your kit you'll find a dry point etching needle and two different grades of sandpaper and these are the tools you're going to need to make marks in your test plate. So on your plate you'll see there's a protective film of plastic which needs peeling off and then you can try making marks with the etching needle and you can hear the scratchy marks you're making and you know that you're creating a line in the material and what you can play around with is the pressure start with a lot of pressure and then ease back just to make lighter marks you can cross hatch and you can also stipple all these marks will be able to be printed Now the sandpaper, I've shaped it like this so that you can use it with the pointy end wrapped around your finger and you can draw this across the plastic and you can see it makes some great strong marks. And then there's also a finer grade one. Have a go with that. And this will produce a slightly paler tone when printed. And you'll notice that I've put the black paper underneath the perspex so I can see the marks that I'm making. In your kit for the next stage you'll find I've prepared a sheet for your drawing, a template which I've drawn round your block. And I've given you a sheet for a single image and if you wanted to share and collaborate with someone else I've given you a sheet divided in half. I've got a drawing here which was done by Lily, a 10 year old, of her rabbit and I like the way she's used the whole block here to describe her pet. I've also got one which I wanted to use um, which is of a whale. This is a lovely drawing by a 6 year old and I thought this would be a nice one to use for my image. And you'll need to peel off the plastic again. So you can see there that you could draw through the plate on top of that image there and here I'm going to place this at an angle like that um, and then I'm going to use my permanent marker to draw through the plastic and round this image of a whale. And I think I'm going to add some water here as he's breaking through the waves. So you finish your drawing and what you'll need to do with your plate is turn it over. And we're going to scratch through this side of the plate and there's also a protective coating on here which I'll peel off. And then you'll need to use the black paper again so that you can see the marks you're making. So you'll be able to see your drawing through there quite clearly. But also when you start making your marks in the block, they'll be a little clearer for you to see. So you might find it's a little jagged when you're drawing, don't worry about that because you can go over the marks again if you want. So the deeper the mark, the stronger it will be when it's printed, so it'll be a sort of rich velvety black line. And I might use some of the sandpaper here to make some marks through the water.
It sometimes uh, feels a little difficult to make a really smooth mark, but don't worry about that because I think any mark you make is going to hold the ink beautifully. And at the end of the day, it's not about making a perfect block. It's about enjoying making marks into this material. I'll put his eye in there. And he's got a lovely fin here. And then a spout. So what you might find is when you've drawn your image, you'll have some loose bits of plastic on there. And how I get rid of those is just by brushing them off gently. So a good way of seeing the marks you've made uh, is by using a light. And I've got a little LED light here and I can just demonstrate that you can shine that through and you can see your image on the paper there quite clearly. You could also use a phone. Uh, because there's usually a torch in your phone and you could do the same thing with your telephone. So for the final stage of your dry point etching, we're going to add one colour to the block. So this is the scratch side and I'm going to turn it over so you've got your drawing on this side. And in your pack you'll find a piece of tracing paper which you can place on top of your drawing and you can clearly see through and then you can decide where you want to add colour. So I'm going to make this into a blue whale and I'm using a sharpie marker here and I'm going to draw around it. You could also use a crayon or um, some paint if you wanted. Um. So this is just to give me an idea of the shape and colour that you'd add. But I will need to know what you want coloured. So when you send back your plate, you'll also send back this piece with the colour on it. If you don't want to use the Perspex block to draw on, because it's a little bit slippery, what you can do is Use the drawing and trace through your drawing to add your colour. So you've finished marking your block and then you'll need to send this to me. So if you've added some colour, could you send me that piece as well, either the piece of tracing paper or the drawing? Or if you don't want to do that stage, it's fine to just send me the block. So you will have sent your block back to me and I'm just going to run through the printing process. So I'm going to be putting some ink onto your block and I've mixed up, mixed up some ink here ready. I'm going to use a soft toothbrush to work the ink into the marks you've made. And I'm using a toothbrush because it's soft and I don't want to damage those lovely scratch lines that you've made. Okay, I think I've covered all the marks there. And now I'm going to wipe off the excess ink. And hopefully we'll be able to see the image appear So I'm rubbing quite gently because I don't want to take off too much ink. I want to leave those lovely rich velvety lines that you'll have made in your block. I'm just going to finish off by using a piece of tissue paper which I'm gently going to clean up any marks if I don't want. So 
So if you did decide to add some colour to your block, you will have sent me a piece of tracing paper or the original drawing and I will cut it out and I will turn it into a piece of sheen collé. This will be then printed with this plate on the press. So we've got the plate that's been inked up ready on the bed of the press here to print. And if you chose to add some colour, I will have cut out a piece of paper, the chincolé, which I'm going to add to your block. And then I'm going to put this paper, I'm going to use a Somerset paper, which is a handmade paper, a cotton rag paper, over the top here and line it all up. And I'm going to put a bit of tissue on here in case any ink comes through. And then, with any luck, we'll run it through the press. So this is the end of the dry point printmaking course. I hope you've enjoyed making your plates and watching the process where you end up with a finished print. And I hope it encourages you to be more creative and develop your drawing skills.